This is the sixth video in a seven video series that describes the required steps and best practices for bringing a model from Autodesk Revit MEP using East Coast's MEP Design to Fabrication over to Fabrication for AutoCAD MEP and later into DuckMaker for Fabrication using the patent East Coast CAD CAM Design to Fabrication workflow and software. In this video, we will be showing you how to flip and move taps where needed replace multiple fittings, and show how to number ducts and duct fittings using fabrication for AutoCAD MEP commands. Running the duct break command will break up your ductwork into fabricatable sections. After breaking up your ductwork, however, you will need to review your taps to make sure that none of them have been placed on a joint. You should review each system for this situation and either move the tap, move a short piece in a run to change the location of joints, or change some duct sizes to move the location of joints. On this model, we have an example of that. We had a tap land right on top of a joint. What we are going to do is select the tap, use the location grip, and drag the tap off of the joint. Once we do that, we want to review each system to make sure that we would like to fabricate the system as shown. You may find ways to improve the fabrication of the systems. For example, you may want to replace multiple fittings with a single fitting, such as replacing two square back-to-back -back elbows with one OG. And we have an example of that over here. What we are going to do is delete out the two square elbows, as well as the piece of duct that is in between it. Once we do that, we are going to select on these two pieces of duct, go up to the ribbon, we're going to select transition OG up. Here as well you see you have the manufacturer default and spec click apply and it inserts the OG in for you. Once you are satisfied with the systems you will want to number the duct and duct fittings. To do that we're going to go to the middle duct drop down. We're going to select duct part number click enter to attach. There are a lot of options available for numbering the duct but for this video we will just make sure that the duct selection method has been chosen and we will enter a system name for the system that we are numbering. Up here is where we're going to select the drop down. We're going to select duct. Here is where the system name. We're going to switch it over to supply. Click OK. We're going to select all of our duct work. Click enter. Now we're going to review our duct numbers to make sure that the duct is numbered as we would expect. That concludes this video for moving and flipping taps, replacing multiple fittings, and numbering the duct and duct fittings.